I will now show you the best Liebscher and Bracht exercise that ensures that your SI joint is properly relaxed and freed. I will briefly explain to you what the problem usually is, and then at the end, I will show you an acute exercise with which you can help yourself well through a special self-massage. So that you can understand why we do these exercises, look, this is the lower spine, the sacrum. Here is the SI joint between the sacrum and the ilium. Once on the side, once on the side. And there are muscles that pull the spine up from here. And there are others who move from here, the gluteus maximus over here. And all these muscles, when they pull more and more, they squeeze the SI joint more and more together. And we want to reverse that, and we do that with the exercise. And before we start with the one most important love foam exercise, was that understandable and comprehensible? Does that motivate you to practice? Please write a comment and also give a thumbs up if you liked it and could understand it well. And now please sit on the chair and first we will test, can you lift your leg up like this? Often it is not the case. If that's not the case for you, then slide a little in front, move along the leg. The other, so I'm now starting from the right side, SI joint right side, problems. And then place your right foot on your left leg and see if you can raise it that high, or maybe it gets stuck here and you can't go any further. Then you hold on there and do the exercise that we are about to do, or you go up. And now you can increase it a bit by pulling the leg towards you, which raises the knee higher and stretches you more. So you probably already know the exercise because we do it more often. Now it's getting specific and most people don't know that. Now we go forward into the stretch, but only as far as we feel it well. But then we reach a little further. So from here to here, press the knee down again additionally and go with the torso to the left, so away from the side that hurts. If you practice the other way around, then of course to the right, okay? And then you'll notice, ouch, that really pulls. And now we are in an area that, in our experience with the SI joint, is even more liberated than just going straight ahead. So go to the left, and then the rules that you already know apply again, right? You go in so far that you can still tolerate it well, wait until it gives a little, and then continue to the left, and you notice, oh, 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 that's a clear stretch. And we love clear stretches because clear stretches make what is too short or too inflexible last longer, and that creates a better effect. It is important anyway, if you have something like this at the SI joint, to always listen in, how is the tension, how is the pain, is it mild, is it stronger, to observe, to get a lot of information about what your body wants to tell you with the pain. And now you pay even more attention, because now you are going even deeper into this situation, approaching this pain that you actually want to get rid of. Yes, that's the exciting thing about what we do, and you always go a little further to the left. You stay down, you also stay in the hollow back, but always go a little further to the left. And now let's incorporate our strength training. And if this becomes too complicated for you, then click there and get another simple exercise for preparation. Otherwise, try to stay with it anyway. You'll only notice for later when it gets too complicated. Now we tense up, but we tense up in a special way. Namely, we tense up less with the right foot against the left knee, but we hold on tight and now pull with the body to the right and backwards, so in this direction and in this direction. You can calmly steer like this one after the other, so first pull to the right and you hold yourself there and then additionally pull back and then you notice how intense it is. And tense a little bit more, hold the tension a little bit more, and relax and move forward, but also to the left.
Always remember, the special thing about this exercise is that we shift laterally to the left with the torso. And now again. Your body wants to go to the right, but you hold on with both arms so that it doesn't move, despite all efforts. You relax and continue to the left. And again, the body wants to go right, you hold it tight. Additionally, you want to go backwards, you hold on just as tight. You hold these forces, you let go, and go a little further forward and a little further to the left. And it may be that you realize, oh, oh, there I am exactly at what is bothering me. The surrounding musculature around the SI joint. By the way, it's called the sacroiliac joint, right? We haven't pronounced it yet. And again, you move to the right. Pull nicely to the right, maintain this tension to the right. Additionally, pull back, so upwards, hold both tensions now, let go, Continue forward, continue to the left. And you notice you keep going further into this stretch. That's the beauty of buttock stretches. There are so many fibers that eventually give way, so you can still go a little further in. Once again, because it was so much fun, you hold on tight. You pull your torso to the right, pull it to the right, hold this tension, this pull to the right, and pull yourself up backwards. And increase that and let go, come out slowly and put it down. If you want a more challenging exercise, I'll just say it once, then click here and be surprised. And otherwise, stand up slowly and feel inside, take a few steps and feel inside. What about the pain? What does it tell you? Is that a language? The body speaks to us, the pain speaks to us, and it says, I'm fine, I'm not so good. Please feel in and then write a comment when you notice that there is already a relief, which can be very, very good. And now you will get a bonus exercise. We do them on the ground and need a tool for that. Either an SI joint sciatica savior or a coconut, a very large apple that is a bit firm, something that has approximately such a shape, something from the household or from the dog's toy. And then you lie comfortably on the floor, push yourself up with your feet and position the SI joint in the sciatic savior where you have the pain. And if you notice, oh, that's a bit too pointed, the coconut is too small, then you take a bit rounder shapes and go again. Remember what we said about where the SI joint is, and then you'll notice Next to the SI joint, where the ilium goes up high, protruding a little bit, that's usually the sensitive spot. And then it becomes cozy, because you position yourself like this until it fits. And then, if you have a television on the ceiling, you can now watch a little TV or read a little, whatever. Rest, and through the pressure, there are these massage-like effects, similar because it is much more intense than from the massage. And if you notice that you would like to move a little bit, then you take the attachment with the round shape and put it underneath, and now you can massage yourself a little bit more, not only through pressure, but also through pressure plus movement. If all of this becomes too high, then you simply take only the attachment with the round base, are much flatter, and can then nicely relax everything by moving very lightly and easily continue massaging away.
And now the reference to one thing, that is our aid, SI joint and sciatic savior, with three attachments, wonderfully suitable for every buttock shape. If you want the information, please click here or below the video. There you will get everything you are looking for and need. And especially when having difficulties with the SI joint, which is also very common, please spread the word so that people know what exercises they can do themselves to help themselves effectively. And if you want to do more for your SI joint, then take a look at these exercise videos and down here you can subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to activate the bell so that you don't miss any videos. Great that you were there. Have fun practicing. Until next time.